So I have been thrifting today. I didn't take much footage. I'm so sorry. And what I did take was pretty useless. So let me show you what I got. So the bundle I'm so happy with. It's not even anything overly special, but awesome lamp. Really mid-century modern in style. It's solid. I think mahogany. And it is so heavy. Um, so a really nice lamp base for $5.95. This, I think, is a little, um, well, it's a really nice case, but um, I believe it's for toys, maybe? Or like a Barbie doll or something? I'm not entirely sure. If anyone knows, let me know. This is the piece I'm probably most happy with. Um, I believe it's Chinese. It's a beautiful glaze on there, and it's got a nice crackle, you can see there, like a crazing. So we'll see, I'm not sure the age, so we'll just see how that does at auction. Some really cool retro jewellery, nice resin bangles, and... Uh, these always seem to do okay in a bundle, so I like to, if I find nice ones of the uh, tiger brooches, I will pick them up. So, a pound, a pound, two pounds, three pounds, six pounds, is that four? I want to say three or four, and two punnets of Scottish strawberries grown in the farm, literally like a few miles away. So, two for a fiver on the strawberries so happy days so happy with my little bundle um we'll see how they get on time to pull some items that's sold so this is pretty much my stock room it's a lot less since the last time you saw and um, before we get started i do have to say if you're in the uk home bargains are doing wallpaper and if you go into the wallpaper section you get a roll of wallpaper liner for i think like one pound fifty and it's really good liner for your parcel so just an fyi if you don't manage to get wallpaper from a charity shop home bargains are doing the liner for cheap okay so i sold two items at auction this week one was only a fiver the other was 650 and i will go and pull them now so where are you there we've sold this guy we have sold um oh, i think they're both over here yeah this this little cup that was 12. the paperweight was sold to a viewer hi michael francis thank you so much okay so that's there that's there Move them away. Oh, and that jumper actually, I pulled out a Paul and Shark. So, yeah, we got £47 for that jumper. Um, five, twelve, six fifty. So, not bad. Also, just another FYI, that's all I've got left of my death pile. That's it. Honestly, I'm so happy. <laughs> so I've researched this bangle that I got for one pound and I picked it up because it's obviously my type of jewellery, if you know if you know me. This is actually a Kaz Robertson. This is an Edinburgh Scottish jewellery designer. And this is called a Wangle Bangle. And these retail for £120. 
and the ones with the polka dots are actually um, all sold out on our website. So I saw a ring, a small resin ring, sell on eBay, best offer, and it was fixed price at £45. And that's all I can find. So I've put this little baby up for £95 or best offer. Good afternoon. It is Wednesday today. Today's been, I didn't thrift at all today. It's been very much about the family and appointments and all that jazz. And I came home and I found a whoop, jewelry parcel waiting for me. I've ordered another one, so I'm in two minds whether to wait for the other one to come and open them both at the same time or open this one now. I think I'll open it now. Okay, so as before, I still don't have my acids. I have ordered them, they're just not here yet. So I have my parcel. Let's get open. And we will see what we have. There we go. A few loose bits that came out there. Let's see how we get on. Let's see, do we have. That's really pretty. Let's give that scratch while this is all out. Turn that over. No, not sterling. This is nice. It's open at the back. It's definitely not sterling. How do we open here? Oh, there we go. No mark, but that's really a pretty, pretty bangle. It's just, yeah, it's plastic. That's nice. So that will definitely go for the bundle. And I like those. If we can find the other one. Me, these have got a mark on them. Let me just check. Sorry, two seconds. Okay. So my light's gone out. I'm not sure why. Hang on. There we go. We have light back. Right. Okay. So. I can't even remember where I was. Yeah, I was looking at these. Now, these do have a mark on it, and I was having a look, but I cannot identify that mark. So, let me try and have a look at the other one as well. No, I've never seen that mark before in my life. Um, I don't know. We'll give it a, a scratch, and then we can just try and... See, that's a really good scratch. See, that's not silver. That probably is. That's not silver. You know, like from old scratches. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. So we can see that they are possibly silver. Oh, they're cute. So they're just costume jewellery. But again, we can put them in a bundle with those. We're still waiting for the other one of those. And then there's a little... Stud. And that does have a mark on it. Hang on. Hang on. It does have a 925 on it, but it says 925P, and I don't know what the P is. Maybe that's plate, but I've never seen <laughs> silver plate be written 925P. So is that the one with that? So I'll keep that back with that. No, it's right. Okay. So they all individually packaged. So that's the other one to that. They're pretty. There's the real pearls. And they don't have a mark. These are really art deco clasps, aren't they? Um well, I can't see a mark. Give it a scratch as well. You know, it's a good scratch again. And then they are genuine pearls, so they're really cute. So, fasten that again. Strange fasteners. 
like the square ones. I've not had many of them, if any. So, all these are tricky to get into. Okay, so we're still waiting for a pair for those. Tiger's eye. And again, that's kind of got the goldy colour again, so that would be just its base metal, so not silver. Possibly silver. Those two are possibly silver. And here is the same kind of style but turquoise. Yeah, genuine stone. No mark again, but it has just got that Art Deco kind of Let's put those ones with scratch. Yeah, I'd say that would be silver as well. I really need to get my acid in just to confirm, but good scratches anyway so they're genuine turquoise I would have thought some genuine pearls so let's try and find well there's the other pearls okay I'm trying to find the other turquoise earrings oh they're here and here's the other <laughs> There's the other tiger's eye. And there. There's the other turquoise. They're really cute. And here we have like a nugget of turquoise. So the bail is not a good bail. But the nugget might be real. We could test it. You literally just stick a a cotton bud in some nail polish and this one we have some garnets and just a gold tone hook that's its pair so they're cute and then these are amazing oh there I've got a mark down there is that not Art Deco? Especially with that, like the same back as the other ones. Let me see what that mark is. Oh, that's so confusing. That's got the same strange mark as these ones. Oh, that's so frustrating. And there's the other one for that. And those. Let's take them away. So let's give those a scratch. We'll do it like using that bit there. We'll give it a really good scratch. So it would definitely bring up the base colour. Oh, see, I think they're silver. Oh, they're amazing. They are really nice really unusual i have got to find out what that mark is is it a maker like a maker's mark i i just don't know it looks like a four it looks like a number four and and something else we have some green stone hmm i would maybe say that was a venturine but the chips are so small but they're nice. You know, sorry, that's my cat. Right, decide where you're going. No, that's not a good place. She has to get in a video somehow. So here, 
They are amazing. Look at those. Look at the construction. That's got a mark on it as well. Let me go see if that's the same weird mark. I can't see on that one. Let me see that one. It's just really ineligible or whatever the word is where you can't read it. Look at the glass or stone. I would need to have a proper look at that. It's not obvious, to be honest with you. Stunning. I could pretty much guarantee these are silver, but just with the tarnish that that's taken on. Yeah. Okay, so we've got our non-silver scratches there, and then these all look silver. But they are amazing. I can't believe how gorgeous they are. Okay, so they go in that pile. I spent about eight pounds, including postage on this bundle. You can't tell me this hasn't been worth it. <laughs> we've got just a nice costume ring. Can go in our costume bundle. So our costume bundle's over here. There we go. And probably that nugget. Oh. I think it's just more costume rings and costume bangles. But yeah, I think the main thing that interested me were the very art deco earrings. Oh, we have Oh, more Art Deco earrings. <laughs> oh, wow. And they have the same kind of mark. Oh, they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. And then two costume jewellery rings. All... Uh, no, some stones are missing out the red one, so I would put that one into craft. That's our first craft item. I'm impressed with this one. And then this is just a big shell necklace, I can see already. I'm pretty, sh pretty sure this was, a this was the last of it. That's actually quite impressive. Yeah, I come across a lot of shell jewellery, but that's actually really substantial. I love the noise that makes. I like that. Okay. Good bundle of costume jewellery. And then we have some just amazing pieces. I'm like, I don't even know if I want to sell any of it. As per usual, I'm pretty useless at this. I can find this stuff. I just can't sell it. So I love these. 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 They're gorgeous. I'm really happy with that bundle. Super happy. 